<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Last time I had a couple of boxes in front of you like this, I reviewed the T-Type transmission from SRAM. This time it says RockShox, so these must be forks. Guess what? These are the 2024 SID forks. Let's check them out. Thanks to my friends at the Bike Zone in Mississauga, I have with me today both the SL, the 32mm stanchion fork, and the SID Ultimate, this is the 35mm stanchion fork. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the design changes ouch, that they've made to the new forks. And I'm also going to try to answer some of the questions that you might have at the end of the video. So stick around and let's start quickly with unboxing of these two forks. We're getting a new box design from RockShox, but as expected at one end, you're going to have the details of the contents, part numbers as usual, nice and big at the top. Here is going to specify what you have. This is the SID Ultimate. Bottom one is the SID SL Ultimate. And as usual, their forks are made in Taiwan. Inside, we're getting almost the same things. So you see one of those flexible RockShox fenders. You're gonna get zip ties for it. You're gonna get a star nut. And that's when the commonality stops between the two. That's the SID SL. You have again, fender, star nut, and the zip ties. And that's pretty much all you get aside from a RockShox sticker. Obviously, here's the fork. Interestingly, on the Ultimate, you're also getting a couple of volume spacers and you also have these two tiny brackets and the associated screws. More about that in a second. I used to think that the only difference between SID and SID SL is the stanchion diameter. However, there's only two things that are common between the two. First of them being the length of the steer is nine inches uncut on both forks. And the only other thing that's common between the two forks is this, their new Charger Race Day damper. This has been redesigned to provide us with not just open and closed like the old damper was, but this one provides us with open, pedal, and closed, something that we used to have only with the Fox forks. They say that the damper installed on the Ultimate forks is the lightest they've ever made. It's only gonna be available on the two Ultimate Forks, SID and SID SL. All the other forks are getting, the Select Plus is getting a similar damper, but a bit heavier. Then you're gonna have the Select Forks that are gonna have the Charger XC, and they're also gonna have what's called a base model SID. That one is gonna get the Rush damper. By the way, only the Ultimate and the Select Forks are gonna be available in the stores. All the other ones are gonna be installed on new bikes. How is this different from a Fox Fit 4 damper, for instance? The Fit 4 damper also has an adjustment for that open position. As you can see here, this one doesn't have any. Another thing that is common at the first glance is the CSU. You can see the crown at the top heavily, heavily machined on these Ultimate forks. However, if you pay close attention, what you're gonna notice is that the two legs on the SL fork are quite a bit closer than they are on the SID Ultimate. That design was introduced by Fox with their Stepcast series of forks. Interesting to see it in the RockShox lineup right now. Do you guys mind that type of design with the fork legs closer together? I kind of like the beefier or standard look of something like this uh, SID Ultimate. This looks like a mini pike, like I said in one of my reviews. Moving down on that right leg, you're gonna see that these are 29er forks that only exist in 44 millimeter offset, but they do come in more options for travel. See the cell now getting that 110 millimeter option that wasn't available before. As for the SID, this one is 110 and 120 that was available with the 2021 version. If you were to come down here at the bottom, this is where you're gonna see the same adjustment for your rebound. It's done with that tiny, tiny Allen key that is inserted at the bottom of the fork. 
and something new for RockShox on the Sid SL only, you're gonna see these cutouts on the lower legs, something that Fox has done again with Stepcast from the get-go. So lowers on the SL are different than the lowers on the SID. And if you look at the machining around the arch, you're gonna see that even that is different between the two forks. The SID Ultimate provides you with the two attachment screws so you can install one of the RockShox fenders, the hard ones. See the cell with the legs closer together doesn't get that option. Another difference in the lowers is that while the SID SL accepts 160 millimeter rotor as a minimum, this one only accepts 180 millimeters as a minimal rotor size. So if you were a weight winnie that wanna save every gram, again, one more reason to select the SL. As expected with these cross country forks, you're getting a Maxxel Stealth True Axle. Also, if you look carefully here at the bottom, you're gonna see that these are torque cap compatible. But if we are to look at the SID Ultimate, they are torque cap compatible. However, you also have that little hole. That is where the adapters can go in, helping you to install that front wheel a lot easier. And yes, there is one more thing that is different between the two forks, and that is their air spring. The SID Ultimate gets the Debonair Plus. The SL doesn't get that. And if you're wondering about the buttercups, they do not use the buttercups with these forks. What else is new here? Oh, interestingly, if you were to read on their website, you're gonna have sag gradients. Yes, that's something that's unique to RockShox. Well, you guys tell me, where do you see sag gradients on these forks? There's no sag gradients absolutely anywhere here. The only thing you see is Max Travel, which is right here at the top, and then De Bonaire. But they had that in the past. What happened? It was unique to RockShox. And there's one other thing that's not visible. The stanchions are a bit longer by 25 millimeters or so, and that provides them more bushing overlap here. I don't know how they're talking about that as a feature. I think it might be just the fix for the previous generation 35 millimeter SID Ultimate, the ones that were having a lot of issues with play in the bushings. We've been using their 2021 version of the 35 mil, but that is the SID Select. It worked very well for us. We never had an issue with that fork. Actually, that's one of the best cross country forks that we've ever used on our bikes. Despite the longer extensions, RockShox managed to actually reduce the weight of the SID Ultimate and they increased the weight of the SL by a few grams. How many grams are we talking about? The 35 millimeter SID Ultimate comes up to 1,497 grams. That is with the Maxwell Stealth installed, which by itself weights 38 grams. And that's pretty much what SRAM advertises. If we are to look at the SID SL though, this comes in a bit heavier at 1,387 grams. So that's a bit heavier than their advertised 1,350 some grams. My assumption being that they forgot to weight the through axle for the SID SL. Did they just make a mistake when posting the information about SID SL? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. In a nutshell, the SID SL only adds the 110 option. It gives you the race day version two damper that has that intermediate position. Otherwise, I don't expect it to be much different. And it adds a few grams, most probably because the extended stanchions that provide you that extra travel. The bigger changes are on the 35 millimeter SID, but it is the many improvements to the chassis itself. And I'm talking about probably the more linear air spring here with the increased volume on the negative and positive side. I am talking about the new race day version two damper and it shaves a few grams, pretty much bringing this on par with that Fox 34 step cast. And to be honest with you, if this performs the same or similar to that fork, I would prefer this one for two reasons. One, because I like the look of the regular leg spacing and I love, love, love that hard fender. We do use fenders on our forks. 
So what do you guys think of these new forks? Do you like them? Are you gonna get one of these? Are you interested in upgrading the new tech that these provides? Just keep in mind that the only thing that is backwards compatible is the damper. Nothing else can be installed on the 2021 forks. I'm talking about the new Debonair Plus. This is not compatible with the old forks. As for the SID SL, there's nothing changed on that one. So again, not worth even trying. What are you guys gonna do? What do you think about these new forks? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers guys, cheers. <laughs>